Welcome Aquarians. Um, this is the Aquarian season. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful share, like, shares, and support. Um, this is your Abundancy Prosperity reading for um, the Aquarian season. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's get in it. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so what we're seeing here is that we are um, looking at the prosperity reading. And uh, for you Aquarians, and what is happening in transpiring is that there is a lot. And when I said a lot, that is going on. A lot of you are dealing with a Scorpion woman. Whatever is happening in transpiring. First, we have the Nine of Cups. And the energy of the Nine of Cups is the Jupiter in Pisces, okay? So the Nine of Cups energy is Jupiter in Pisces, emotional and physical well-being. Positive development in relationship, professional and financial success. But this is in the reverse. And we're going to be looking at why is it in the reverse, okay? So Jupiter in Pisces is in the reverse. So we are going to be recognizing why is it in reverse. Then we have the energy of the Five of Swords, Defeat, Venus in Aquarians. So Aquarians, um, you're going to be recognizing this, especially coming up in the weeks. You're going to definitely, definitely recognize in this. So, so um, this is going to be um, the week of... Uh, um, the 25th until the, the week of the 25th until the, um, 31st of January. So, um, whatever is happening and transpiring, Venus in Aquarian is here, broken down. Um, but it is in the reverse. So it's in a good position. Whenever, um, this is in reverse, it's in, um, a good position. So it's a, a Venus in Aquarian. Okay. Then we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is always about people around you on the work floor, okay? And that is the Sun in Scorpio. The Sun in Scorpio. Splash of water indicates pure joy, okay? So as you get out of January, going into February, the first week of February, um, the first until the seventh is going to be very, very wonderful. There could be unexpected um, prosperity and abundance that is coming in when the sun is in Scorpio, it is in an upright position. So this is, um, very good. So you will have some sort of a luck with friends, whatever is happening and transpiring, some sort of a luck with friends is going to be coming up. Then we have the queen of cups. Okay. So, um, um, the, um, eight until the 14, we have the energy of the queen of cups. So we have Water of water, okay. This is pure, a pure emotional, okay. Um, this could be love and sen sensitivity to whatever is going on. So, um, a wonderful um alignment of energy, even with these two last ones, finish of uh, um the year, um the month of January. But as you begin the month of February, what you're recognizing is that it is absolutely, absolutely. Are going to be much better. So I see some of you, your wishes and dreams didn't come true. Whatever you wanted, whatever you were hoping for didn't come true. But I see friends are going to be there, especially when the energy of uh, the sun in Scorpio is here. It's very wonderful with the energy of the sun in Scorpio. And then as you leave this Aquarian season, you are having the queen of cups, which is a wonderful alignment of energy. So a lot of you with your financial state and stability, whatever is happening, um, remember you have to choose one of these stones in order to create your abundance, uh, abundance, money and prosperity. And this is going to be good because you're going to be alive and alerting yourself and it's going to be recreating um, wonderful alignment of energy in order to create your materialistic wealth in this period. So whatever the problem, the situation is <coughs> that was transpiring, 
what we're recognizing is that maybe some of you didn't get what you want in the month of January. But as you go to the two first week of February, whatever you were looking for and hoping for is going to be happening for you. So it is a sense of you um, creating your stability in whatever way and showing up for yourself in order to create that wonderful alignment of stability, abundancy and stability for yourself. We have nine, we have five, we have six and you need to um, use these numbers in whatever way you can because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that um, by using these numbers, you're going to be recreating um, some sort of a stability for yourself uh, and create your own wealth and prosperity. You're using these energies to make shift and align yourself in a wonderful way. That is going to be bringing you some prosperity. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces uh, um, in uh, this uh, season. Some of you are going to be having some sort of a uh, inner conflicts that is going to be over. Uh, some of you who had conflicts with friends, uh, I see that uh, and, and people on the work floor, that is going to be over. I see a lot of people are going to be showing you love and appreciation and it's going to be bringing forward some sort of a wonderful alignment of energy. The Queen of Cups meaning that you are emotional balance, okay? So um, whatever is going on in and around you, emotional balance is there and it's going to be bringing forward some sort of a um, positive energy that is going to be helping you to exhilarate yourself moving forward. So whatever it is with the energy of the nine of cups, so it could have been something, a promotion, something that you wanted or a business deal, something that you wanted, but it did not come true. But do not give up because uh, um, as you move into February, February is going to be the lucky part for you because there and when is when you're going to be exhilarating and recognizing how um, incredible um, this period is because the spirit is going to be shifting you and yourself and aligning you um, with the right uh, um, energy and making sure that you exhilarate uh, yourself in a wonderful way. So, um, you need to um, recognize this for yourself, okay? Um, and um, um, and this is going to be moving you in um, positive ways where you're going to be recognizing um, the alignment that is going to be, um, you know, moving you forward in a positive way. Two, okay. Um, week three is going to be beautiful. Okay. Week three is going to be beautiful. Um, and uh, what is going to be transpiring? You're going to be exhilarating. Um, especially in the two last week, you're going to be accelerating. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful and positive. So realign yourself with whatever is going on in your life. Accept the changes and move forward in a very, very positive way because we have uh, you dealing with a lot of emotions, emotions that is, uh, is go going to be working with you, blocking you or creating um, wealth and stability okay so emotions can be blocked for or it's, it helps you to create your stability a lot of you some sort of uh, um, emotional situation is going to be transpiring that is going to be happening in your world so you have to make the choices whether or not you choose to let this affect you or you are going to be um Resolving this by choosing one of these decks that is going to be helping you to accelerate um, yourself in order to transform yourself by moving um, forward. So um, this Aquarian season for you, Aquarian, is a little bit uh, rocky. The two last week is going to be good, but the two first week is like mm, emotional um, where you recognize, okay, 
something didn't happen all right let it go and then you know people are going to be coming in to cre recreate and to exhilarate you in a very positive way in order to see the extension um follow us and choose which one of these energies affect you the most which one of these energies you're pushed towards and it's going to be helping you to move you forward please like sh like and share these videos show your love by thumbs up um check it out on the other side um which one of these uh, um symbol um pay a significant role in your life in this month namaste until next time